Hey guys, it's Allie, and in today's video, I'm going to be photoshopping American Girl outfits. AG Jitters has done this video twice, and of course, I had to try it myself because it just looked really interesting, and I will tell you, this footage is like only 10 minutes, but it took over like an hour for me to get these three outfits done. It is super time consuming. Try it at your own risk because you will go insane from the amount of time this takes. Anyways, to start, we are going to be going to the American Girl website and I'm just taking some screenshots of some pieces that I think have a lot of potential to be photoshopped. So my style tends to be a lot of basics, so I'm looking for a lot of solid colors, but I do have some pattern pieces and I'm gonna try and make some trendy outfits out of everything. So enjoy the time lapse and the music. So now we are in Photoshop. I imported in all of the photos. I'm definitely not using all of these pieces, but we're gonna start off with this dress. And I apologize, I do not know the names of all of these outfits. So I'm just gonna be calling them dress A, dress B or something. First, I just did the lasso tool. I am very bad at explaining Photoshop, but I pretty much just got rid of everything except for the dress. And then I used the eraser tool just to clean up my cutout jaw because I am bad at Photoshop. Then I just resized the dress so I would have room for some other outfits. According to my talks with AG Jitters, she told me to use the hue saturation tool to change the colors. I'm so used to doing replace color, but it never turns out how I want. I don't really understand like Photoshop to be honest, but I did use hue saturation. I wanted a spring type of outfit. So we have some pinks and greens in there. I have this hat from the Italy outfit and I'm changing the ribbon to a similar shade of pink as the dress. I tried removing some of that weird blue outline, but I couldn't really figure out how to do it without making it look even weirder. So we're just gonna ignore that. And then I've got this tote bag here from the market outfit. And I really just love a plain canvas tote bag. So that's what we are going to make. I'm just erasing around the dress. And then I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to kind of hide this logo and make it look like a plain old canvas bag. Now, I wanted to add some text so it wasn't boring, so I experimented a little bit and then Flower Shower by Hyuna popped into my head because I'm in a K-pop phase. So I picked a random font and then I rotated the text and now we have Hyuna merch, Flower Shower, bag stuff. If you don't know K-pop, that makes absolutely no sense. And then we're gonna resize that and then just kind of erase around the strap so it looks a lot neater. Back to our friend the American Girl website to look for some cute shoes for this outfit. So I found these really cute ones in the mix and match line that I'm going to screenshot and then import into Photoshop. The process is pretty much the same for all of these pieces by the way, where I'm just removing the background and then resizing them and then from there changing the colors. So now the first outfit is complete. I think it's really springy and cute, flower shower. And now we are going to work on the second outfit. So I'm taking the skirt from the Ireland outfit, but the annoying thing about it is the best stock photo that I could find on the website had the cardigan and the shoes layered on top. So there's a lot of awkward holes. So I'm using the clone stamp tool to kind of make the bottom of the skirt look a little bit normal. I tried it in some other spots, but it just ended up messing up the shape of the skirt and making it look really weird. So at least we patched up a tiny bit of the skirt. And then I'm going into the hue tool and experimenting with a few colors, but I ended up settling on a red and blue theme. 
going to do a cute cardigan with this outfit, but I wasn't a fan of how it ended up turning out. So this whole part is not even in the final product, but we're gonna keep the footage here because why not? That's a Luna reference. I'm just talking here because there's nothing happening, but my mind is so K-pop obsessed right now that I will say a random thing like, you'll be like, feel good. And then I go, feel good, promise nine. And then I start singing that song. If any of you guys are addicted to K-pop, let me know. Anyways, I found this top in an outfit that I actually recreated in a video collab with AG Jitters and some other people, but I am cropping it so it looks a little bit cuter and it's a bit more my style. And just because of the way that the cut of the top was in the stock photo, it looked really weird in my opinion. And then I was going to experiment with this camo jacket and I absolutely hated the way it turned out. Just recording this voiceover right now, I'm cringing because it just looked like something people would wear in elementary school and I like kept it on my screen for so long. This outfit, I really struggled with it, figuring out what I wanted to do. So, so much of it isn't even in the final outfit. The burgundy skirt made a reappearance. Now I'm going to move everything so it covers the hole. I have this hat from Julie's, I want to say birthday outfit. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a really cute hat. I kind of want to buy the outfit just for it, but I slightly adjusted the shade of blue just so it would match the outfit a little bit more. I think it's really cute and I need a hat like this for myself. Back to the American Girl website to find some shoes. So I'm using the World Traveler England outfit screenshotting those and I'm not even gonna edit them because I feel like black combat boots are such a staple. Good job American Girl for creating a staple piece. I'm very proud. So I'm just erasing the white so it blends in a little bit better and I think this outfit is done. This last outfit is probably my least favorite just because it's so basic and boring, but I do wear clothing like that anyways. I'm actually currently wearing some black shorts that look very similar to the American Girl ones, except there's no star or white. So this outfit is probably the most realistic one that I will wear, even though the second one is my favorite. Just getting rid of that star because I don't really want it to look like American Girl items, so that's really the only main edit I did to these shorts. I did try adjusting the hue slightly to make them more of a dark gray, but I ended up just slightly, slightly changing the hue. There's not really a big difference. Back to the mix and match collection. These mix and match collections are so convenient for things like this, but I have this top that I believe AG Jitters also used in her video, but it's just a plain tank top. You can't go wrong with it, and it's really easy to change the color of. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to do at first, but I ended up settling on a really light purple kind of pinky color, and I really like it. Very basic, simple outfit, I know, but there's nothing wrong with plain items, and I do wish American Girl did make more plain items. I grabbed these shoes from the basketball outfit to look like runners, isolating them from the background, of course. Changing the color to make it more of a purple, light pink, so it matched the top a little bit better. resizing them and I think I got a pretty good color match there to be honest. So that is pretty much the three outfits that I made. Let me know in the comments what one is your favorite. As I said earlier, mine has to be the middle second one. Make sure to check out AG Jitters' videos as she did a way better and way more creative job than I did doing these outfits. I thought it was a fun idea so immediately after I watched her video, I filmed my own. <laughs> If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more American Girl videos and subscribe to AG Jitters too because she's so creative. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!